Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey, for the first time, subscribe. Join the squad. Here I review products you won't feel guilty buying and do looks you can actually recreate at home. And once we hit 10,000 slash squad members, we're going to be doing an international giveaway full of budget and high-end beauty items. Today I'm excited to bring you a video sponsored by Advanced Clinicals. Shout out to them. And you all actually asked me to make this video. I was unboxing a whole lot of face serums from Advanced Clinicals and I asked if you wanted me to do a video kind of talking about different skincare ingredients, what they do for your skin, so you can kind of navigate the crazy world of skincare and decide for yourself which serums will work for you. There's also going to be a coupon code at the end of the video and in the description if you want to try out any of these serums on your own. So grab your ice mocha, this is going to be a chatty video, and I'll see you in a second. So I'm going to kind of break up this video and categorize these ingredients into three sort of groups. I'm going to be talking about ingredients that are good for problem skin first, so like acne, bumps, etc. Then I'm going to go into moisturizing skincare ingredients, and then I'm going to end with the big doozy anti-aging. The first ingredient you are probably familiar with because it has definitely uh, popped up in a lot more drugstore products as well as skincare products in general, and that is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is a miracle ingredient for those of us with acne and problem skin because it reduces inflammation, redness, and bumps. And unlike other acne products that can be a little bit harsh and even irritate your skin more, tea tree oil rehydrates the skin as it calms irritation. It has antibacterial and antifungal properties that can help clear up and prevent acne breakouts in the future. And like I said earlier, it helps with inflammation. So that can help with swelling around acne, like sometimes when I get really bad acne and then I'm picking at it and then it just gets worse. Tea tree oil definitely takes care of that, but also it helps with eczema. And the great thing about tea tree oil is that after your skin problems are looking solved, it'll also help tackle the scars left behind. So I get pretty bad acne scars or I scar easily, so this will help lighten them and just keep everything nice and clear. This is the Advanced Clinicals Tea Tree Oil Serum, probably one of my favorites because of the type of skin that I have. Um, what's cool about this is that it's not only tea tree oil, but it's also vitamin E, which will help hydrate even more, and witch hazel is blended into this as well, which is a natural toner. So great for acne prone skin. The next great ingredient for problem skin is AHAs, which are alpha hydroxy acids. So AHAs are a natural acid found in fruit that act as a chemical exfoliant. So it takes off the top layer of dead skin cells and helps speed up skin renewal. AHAs also help thicken the deeper layers of skin to help make it look more firm in general. A lot of people in studies have said that AHAs can work even better than physical exfoliants like scrubs or cloths at uh, removing skin cell buildup. And as it accelerates the skin cell turnover, that's also going to help some of your other products that you're using work faster because usually skin cell turnover can take like 21 to 30 days. But since this does speed it up and it's getting rid of the dead skin on top, your other products are going to be sinking in and you're going to start seeing your new renewed skin a little bit faster. This is also great for combo skin because it'll kind to balance out the moisture. Um, I would suggest doing it at night because AHAs do make your skin a little bit more sensitive to the sunlight. Um, and then of course always wear sunscreen during the day. So this is the AHA serum from Advanced Clinicals and it also has aloe vera and licorice which will help soothe your skin, kind of calm any redness and reduce that a little bit too. Now I'm going to move in to moisturizing skincare ingredients and what you should look out for if you feel you're having dry and dull skin. I'm going to get the first two really obvious ones out of the way because you've heard of this so I know I don't need to go too much in depth, but argan oil is kind of like the golden child of moisturizing skin and hair as well as, where is it? Coconut oil. But I still want to talk a little bit about it, give you a little more information because you might not know that it has more than just moisturizing benefits. Argan oil has a ton of vitamin E in it, which is what's going to help moisturize your skin, give you a really nice glow from within look. But what you may not have known is that argan oil also can help reduce inflammation and also helps with skin elasticity in general and skin cell production. This serum specifically is infused with Spanish lavender, which I had never heard of, but apparently it's known for reducing wrinkles. So this is not only super moisturizing, but also a little bit of anti-aging too. And of course you can always add a little bit of this to the ends of your hair for extra moisture. Coconut oil, it will solve all your problems. It'll solve your dry skin. It'll solve your dry hair. It'll solve your empty bank account. Maybe not that last one, but seriously, 
Almost. So as you probably already know, coconut oil is an intense hydrator. It's going to make your skin really supple, soft, and moisturized. What you may not have known though is that the vitamins and acids in coconut oil can also help reduce the appearance of scars. Another great one for me because hyperpigmentation is the bane of my existence. So this one is the Advanced Clinicals Coconut Visible Repair Oil and why sometimes I would use this instead of just using straight up coconut oil is that this is always in serum form um, as opposed to coconut oil which as you know does solidify under I think 70 degrees um, so it's just kind of a little bit easier to use when you're kind of cutting down on time in your morning or nighttime routine you just drop a little in your hands and you're good to go so this next ingredient has definitely been popping up more recently in like drugstore skincare products it has been a pretty big player in more luxury skincare products but I'm really excited that it's getting more popular and that is hyaluronic acid so hyaluronic acid is naturally found in your skin and it acts like a sponge it soaks up all of your moisture it holds it in for your skin to fight dehydration and because it is storing that hydration it can make your skin look nice and plump and help other skin problems that you may have as well because hydration is always like the key to solving anything. <laughs> it will have you glowing, it'll help your face retain moisture so you're not feeling dry throughout the day, and also helps your skin hold on to collagen, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So I'm loving the Hyaluronic Serum, especially right now. I mean, it just turned into March, but it's still kind of like cold and windy in LA, and so this will help me from waking up with really parched skin, and it keeps my skin just nice and plump throughout the day. This one specifically also has a boost of vitamin E for extra hydration, as well as green tea extract and willow herb, which can help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's always just good to have those extra benefits if that's something you're looking for. Speaking of fine lines and wrinkles, finally we're going to go into the anti-aging ingredients you should look out for if that is something that that you are concerned with. Also, these ingredients are good for skin texture, so even if you're not necessarily super worried about wrinkles, um, this could help you if you find that you do have uneven skin texture. So I just mentioned collagen a couple seconds ago, so why don't we just tackle that one right away. To put it short and sweet, collagen is the most abundant protein found in your body. It gives strength and structure and um, elasticity to the skin, and it's also pretty crucial in helping the replacement of dead skin cells. But as you get older, your body's natural production of collagen decreases. And also what can affect that is UV exposure and just environmental stresses. So as you get older, that is definitely something that you want to start working into your routine. So this one's the Collagen Serum from Advanced Clinicals and it is pure collagen and soy extract to give you more firm looking skin. Next I want to talk about rosehip oil because this was a recent discovery of mine and I'm kind of really upset that I didn't know about it sooner or just didn't give it a chance because a lot of people are saying, I don't know if I'd go this far, but a lot of people are saying that this is basically the new coconut oil. So it's derived from the seed of a specific rose and it has vitamin C which helps even out your skin tone and also help produce collagen while the vitamin A, the molecules are small enough to really get in deep into the bottom layers of your skin. The antioxidants in rosehip oil also help your skin fight damaging free radicals and prevent sun damage effects. And the vitamins and the fatty acids help even out skin tone and any texture unevenness so that's really great. Plus, the fatty acids help skin turnover. So you are going to see that accelerated effect in whatever products you're using, kind of like what I said with the alpha hydroxy acids. So that's great for acne scars, but also age spots, which is something that, you know, becomes a problem. Not looking forward to that. And this one specifically also has pure vitamin E to help moisturize, because that's like the underlying theme here. You gotta moisturize. <laughs> so while we're on the subject, why don't we talk a little bit more about vitamin C, because a lot of these serums are mentioning the benefits that come from the vitamin C in those ingredients. Vitamin C is great for targeting dark spots, uneven skin tone, and expression lines. The antioxidants in vitamin C help lift any discoloration that could be from age spots to hyperpigmentation from acne. It'll help your skin defend itself against environmental stresses as well as neutralize free radicals that age you. It helps lift and brighten the skin tone all around and is also a key player in helping collagen production. This specific serum has a very orangey or just citrus smell, which I love in my skincare. It just kind of awakens me, so that's why I really like this one, and especially for evening out my skin tone, because that's kind of been, besides acne, one of the major skin concerns that I have. Now let's 
talk about the big kahuna of the skincare world in my opinion, retinol. Retinol is a type of vitamin A that has made a pretty big name for itself in the skincare world if you haven't been living under a rock um, for making your skin look more plump and firm, reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles as well as your pores, and evening out uneven skin tone and texture. This is great for tackling sun exposure damage, sunspots, etc. Um, also, it's good for nightly use, but it is kind of harsh if you've never used a retinol before, so I would say ease into it, and if you find that it's a little too harsh at first, um, kind of go for every other night type of application. Also, it's very important not to mix retinol with other active ingredients like AHAs, um, glycolic acid, and salicylic acid. But yeah, retinol does it all, especially for um, lifting the appearance of deep wrinkles and then breaking up the appearance of sun damage. Now, because retinol can can be a little bit harsh if you've never used it before or if you just have sensitive skin. This particular serum has aloe vera and green tea to help nourish and kind of calm that down. Um, but the box does say, and I'll read this to you instantly, you may feel some tightness, flushing, or redness, and that's normal. It means it's working, but you can follow up with a really good moisturizer to help that um, or reduce to every other night, like I said. So that was the lowdown on nine really common skincare ingredients. All of the serums that I showed you in this video are from Advanced Clinicals, and the bottle, it looks like this, like I've been holding it up the whole time. Um, usually they're $15 and you don't need to use a lot. They spread really easily. They absorb really fast. Um, so this will last you a while. They're normally $15, but I got a coupon code for you. So you can get 30% off, which would bring this to $10.50. Really, really good deal with the code SB30. So put in that code at checkout to enjoy a new affordable skincare routine. That's it for me. If you like this type of kind of just sit down informational chatty video, hit the thumbs up and let me know other topics that you'd want me to delve deeper in in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, join the Slash Squad. I make new videos every week and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!